Some parents may be unsure of what they want their kids to watch on television because children's shows can range from adorable and informative to unappealing and crude. But some also manage to strike the right chord and are enjoyable for people of all ages. And Reddit, as always, has all the answers. In today's video, we'll be talking about 10 shows for kids that adults also secretly love. First, we have Craig of the Creek, 2018 to present. The Cartoon Network has shown some fantastic children's programming, but occasionally the network might be a little too adult. Recently though, parents have started to value Craig of the Creek. We appreciate that this show demonstrates acceptance and can be used as a teaching tool for children and adults. Remarked by Reddit user Nostalgic Jeremy, characters are depicted as homo homos meaning, or non-binary, and nobody on the show ever objects to it. Because Craig of the Creek introduces kids to a variety of cultures, it gives parents the chance to have conversations with their children about race, gender, and orientation. According to Deadline, the program will have a fifth season, as well as a preschool-targeted spin-off. Critics have given the show favorable reviews. It has significant popularity thanks to its themes of friendship, diversity, and LGBT life. Next, we have Avatar The Last Airbender, 2005 to 2008. Characters in Avatar The Last Airbender appeal to both youngsters and adults. C. Pleasance commented on Reddit, Since my toddler was probably just turning two, we have been watching Avatar The Last Airbender together. It does not appear to have destroyed him yet. The worst is when he endearingly tries to airbend me while we're eating. Parents have voiced their worries about the violence that is portrayed in the program. In contrast, the show does not feature any blood or gore. But sure, the overall storyline might be too much for some children. Avatar The Legend of Korra is a spin-off of the first series and has some of the original characters, making it a good option for parents who want to keep the adventure going. The characters, pop culture illusions, art direction, soundtrack, humor, and themes of Avatar The Last Airbender won praise from both viewers and reviewers, helping the television series to achieve high ratings. After that, we have Sesame Street, 1969 to the present. While transporting adults back to their own childhoods, Sesame Street also imparts important life lessons to today's youth. Working Shine 5764 a Reddit member, said, because it teaches letters, numbers, and other new vocabulary that toddlers just absorb at this age. Sesame Street is incredibly entertaining to watch with young children. While we watch TV, my daughter enjoys sitting on my lap and narrating all she sees. Sesame Street has continuously added characters that reflect viewers' lives in addition to its educational value, and parents like that their children can draw parallels between the characters and themselves. The program has recently featured people with autism, parents who are struggling with addiction, and parents who are in prison. Sesame Street-inspired programming created independently was aired in 20 nations by 2006. Sesame Street was broadcast in over 140 countries by the time of its 40th anniversary in 2009, with over 120 million viewers tuning into the different foreign versions of the show in 2001. Moving on, we have Octonauts, 2010 to the present. Before it was only available on Netflix, Octonauts was a part of the preschool and early elementary school-age children's programming on Nickelodeon. M. Yusufzai, a Redditor, stated, The best children's programming ever made is the four seasons of the original Octonauts animation, not the new Netflix version. The character interactions are cooperative, as opposed to to competitive, it avoids hero worship, and man, is it funny. Parents adore how the program encourages kids to cooperate to accomplish a common goal. Parents will get the humor and illusions in Octonauts, but children might often not. To the preschool age group it is targeted towards, none of these jokes are offensive or crude. For its first four seasons, Brown Bag Films in Ireland animated the show. In 2018, the program received a fifth season renewal, with Canada's mainframe studios handling the animation. In September 2021, the Netflix original spin-off, Above and Beyond, saw the Octonauts exploring more terrestrial environments of the natural world. Coming up, we have The Wiggles, 1998 to the present. Since the show's beginning, The Wiggles lineup has undergone a number of changes, which has piqued the interest of parents who watched it when they were young. The tunes are memorable and have a knack for sticking to the listeners' brains, says Redditor Floby76. My family, including the teens, are currently incredibly into The Wiggles, and I have a toddler. Also, we're all fruit salad is a banger. The band hasn't shied away from the fact that the Wiggles make parents nostalgic for a time when they used to watch children's television before school. The original lineup, which most parents spent their formative years, announced an 18-plus bar and pub tour for 2021. Next, we have Bluey, 2018 to the present. While there are many kids' cartoons on Disney Plus that are hidden gems, Bluey is not one of them. Bluey is well known to parents of kids who watch TV. Although it's aimed at young children, many of the episodes have lessons or funny bits 
hits that adults may enjoy. Lit Creme Brulee, a Reddit user, stated, Good tales, typically a life lesson, and suitable humor. It's simple to watch. Bluey has distinguished itself from rival programs by appealing to both children and parents. The program offers an unbiased viewpoint on parenting by showcasing parents who occasionally become overburdened and make mistakes with their children while trying to fix them. Every episode has a different theme, which keeps the show interesting and prevents parents from getting bored with the usual, repeated themes of other shows. After that, we have Arthur, 1996 to 2022. Reruns of Arthur are still well-liked by both youngsters who grew up in the 1990s and kids who watch the show online now. User Gentleman Caller 2000 on Reddit stated, Although my children are older now, I used to really like Arthur when they were younger. That program had a lot of funny moments. In addition to teaching youngsters about other people's experiences, Arthur also offered a variety of tales that weren't typical when the program first aired, which parents found to be appealing. Fans were devastated when the cancellation was revealed. The Arthur book series, which Mark Brown wrote and drew, served as the inspiration for the television show. The animated series was created in 1994 by WGBH Boston and Montreal-based Sinar, and its debut episode premiered on October 7, 1996. 253 half-hour episodes of the show have aired during the course of its 25-season existence. Moving on, we have Sketchbook, 2022 to the present. Viewers who watch Sketchbook will learn how to draw their favorite Disney characters. Kids can engage in a hands-on activity thanks to the show, but adults have also enjoyed it because they can practice drawing alongside their kids. So my one-year-old daughter just happened to turn the show on, and I was so amazed at how fantastic the show was, commented Redditor E. Barrick. Parents should watch Sketchbook when it's time to relax, because it lacks visually appealing elements and kid-friendly music. The program offers a chance to introduce kids to artistic occupations and foster a lifelong interest in the arts at a young age. In each episode, a different illustrator shows how to draw a different classic character from a Walt Disney Animation Studios movie. As we learn how to draw these characters, we also find out that the illustrators themselves each have a different journey to share about how they ended up at Disney and with their selected figure. Let's talk about Molly of Denali, 2019 to the present. In addition to telling tales about local native customs, Molly of Denali focuses on a family in Alaska. The show is loved by Redditor Oxki because it portrays kids in actual settings. The rules of physics apply. There's no magic backpack or weirdly unattended kids. The show keeps with PBS's tradition of showing various kid experiences so kids who might not be exposed to those things can learn about others. This distinctive setting not only allows local kids a chance to see themselves portrayed, but it also gives parents a chance to educate their kids about underrepresented or dramatized regions of the country. In September 2019, Molly of Denali made its debut on Nat Geo Kids in Latin America. On September 2, 2019, CBC Kids in Canada broadcast its debut. And lastly, we have The Owl House, 2020 to the present. The Owl House has become very well known since it contains a large cast of open LGBTQ plus characters. Arisi from Reddit stated, A female can have a crush on another girl? My daughter inquired as we watched the first season together. I simply answered, sure, and she immediately agreed. I'm happy that programs like this and she are making sense partnerships acceptable for children to observe. The Owl House has provided parents who have never seen themselves represented with the opportunity to introduce their children to a topic that resonates with them and to start a dialogue regarding sexual orientations. Disney has continued to release new episodes of the show despite opposition from some organizations that don't support LGBTQ plus people, and there are no plans to cancel it because of all the hate. That's a wrap for this video. Which of these shows do you plan to watch with your kids? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.